been playing the tenor saxophone part four. Uh, in this section, we're going to talk about how to form the embouchure. And the embouchure is the way you form your mouth when playing a wind instrument, in this case, the tenor saxophone. Um, and so we're going to talk about how you do that. So what we're going to do first is I have my whole tenor sax. I'm just going to take off the neck with the mouthpiece and the reed on it. So I have the, the neck, mouthpiece, and my reed is in the right place. And I'm going to put the rest of the tenor saxophone back in the case. Don't forget to put the cap on there so it keeps it safe. And I'm just going to leave it here for now. And then we're going to talk about how to make a sound out of this thing. So first of all, let's talk about how to form the embouchure. So you take your lower lip and you just put it over your, your bottom teeth just, just a little bit. You don't need to be too tiny, just a little bit. Creates a little cushion, a little pillow for your reed to lay on. And then you just put your reed right on there. Make sure your chin is smooth. You can't see because of all this stuff, but make it nice and smooth. And um, these corners are gonna be kind of tight, right? And then you put your teeth on the top of the mouthpiece, like this, just gently. You don't have to bite hard on it. Just put your teeth, just set your teeth on there. And then the rest of your mouth, kind of like a rubber band, squeeze, like a rubber band squeezes around that mouthpiece, okay? And the corners are nice and tight, chin is smooth. And that's how we that's how we hold on to that mouthpiece. That's how we put our mouth on the mouthpiece of the tenor saxophone. Now, before we blow through it, let's talk about blowing air. Uh, the tenor sax is a wind instrument, so that means we have to blow air. So, a couple of things. Do it with me. Just take a nice big breath and relax. And that's how we um, get started on playing. Is that you always need to take a big breath when you breathe or when you play? Okay. And so before you play, every time, if I'm going to play, I'm going to go take lots of air every single time so that I can have air to blow and to play. Okay, now I want you to make this sound. Okay, make lots of those. Okay, notice I'm not stopping my airflow. My air is blowing the whole time. Okay, now you've done it hopefully a couple of times. If not, go ahead and do it. And uh, this time, think about what you're doing when you do it. What is my tongue doing? Okay. Now that's how we start the sound on our, on our saxophone. Okay, every time. That's what we're going to do. So I want you to think of like, pretend like this is a hose. The hose is coming and the water is flowing. It's the middle of the summer. It's hot. You got this water flowing. You have a great time out there. And just to play around, you have the water going, and you take your hand and you go psh, 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 psh. Now, the water didn't never turn off. Nobody turned off the water. The water was still flowing. I just created these little segments of water as I put my hand through it. That's the same thing we're going to do with this. The air is the water, and my tongue is my hand. Okay, you're going to blow lots of air, interrupt that air with the tongue. Okay? Now, how does that apply to the saxophone? Well, when you form that armature correctly, and then you start to blow, your tongue is, is like that hand, and the air is still the water. And you start with that, put it in there, you'll notice your tongue will automatically kind of go to the tip of that tip of that reed. Okay? And then when you blow, you're gonna go, you're gonna breathe out the sides of your mouth with it in place, get everything set, breathe, and then go. Okay, I'll do that right now. And what I want you to do when you do that is just try and blow air through through this reed and this mouthpiece in between, okay? Just blow air right through there. And don't don't worry about making a sound. If it makes it sound great, if it doesn't, that's fine. Just travel as much air through there as you can, like this. Now, I made a sound. Hopefully, you did. If you didn't, that's okay. We'll talk about that in a second. So, go ahead and make sure you're going... And then make lots of those. Just like this. It's not any different. Except for that you got a mouthpiece in, in the way, right? Okay? So work on that and then work on making as long and steady of tone as you can. That wasn't very steady. going as long as you can and practice that practice long steady tones go ahead and, i mean you want to avoid this 
all right? But you can play around and do that for fun if you want, and then practice making long, steady tones, okay? And practice making lots of different notes. All right? Now, on page four of your book, it kind of talks about the embouchure. It talks about producing your first tone. It explains it in a slightly different way than I did, and, and, but it, another way is a good way. I mean, just read through that as well. It might help you out. Now, let's say you're trying it, and it's not working. Maybe it goes like this. You're getting that kind of issue. A lot of times that's because you're, you're, you're pushing down on this reed too much and you're closing it off with your, with your lip. So you might need to, need to relax your lip a little bit. Okay, relax your lip a little bit so that you can get it to play. All right, another problem might be maybe you put your mouth too far onto the mouthpiece or too far off of the mouthpiece. So adjust that. Try and make it in farther or out farther until you can get it to play, okay? And then one other issue I notice is sometimes maybe you're going up too high or down too low, okay? So find a spot, in and out and up and down. Usually it just should just come mostly just straight out. Until you can make that sound. And then do all those things we already talked about. Make the lots of different um, notes like that. Make it as long as you can do it. And just really work on, on playing that so you get a nice, steady, long tone. Okay? Um, and then I uh, just want to talk about some practice tips. So when you're practicing, practice the things that you're struggling with. Maybe, um, maybe you're just not making a very good tone. So practice that. Later on, maybe you're playing different notes and you just can't get this one particular note. Work on that. So we always work on the thing that we need to work on, the thing that we're struggling with. It's really tempting to always play the easy thing, um, the easy song or whatever, and because we can play it. Uh, and that's fine, and sometimes there's a place for playing stuff that's fun, and, and that's just fine. But if you want to get better as a musician, practice things that you struggle with, okay? Another important part of practicing is find a place to practice where you can practice consistently without being interrupted. That might be your bedroom, it might be your garage, it might be your back patio, it might be your parents' bedroom. Find somewhere, you might even need to talk to your family about it uh, and say, hey, I need a place, I'm going to practice, you know, what's the best place in our house for me to do that? Um, and if you can't find a place like that, then you might need to practice like maybe after school in the band room for 20 or 30 minutes where you can practice and, and get better and work on those things, okay? And just make sure you set aside a time to practice and you're, and you're working on it. Okay, now that we're starting to make some sounds, um, you can start working on practicing and, and getting better at that. So um, keep working on those things. Uh, check me out in the next video uh, for more ways uh, to get better at tenor saxophone. We'll see you then.